Janine Ellis is a pint-sized powerhouse who dares to dream big. She's made of the tough stuff and never shies away from a challenge. With a global empire, a passion for change in worldwide health, a heart to ignite inspiration in others, and a deep love for her family, Janine Ellis paints her life on a big easel. Where do you find this strength and drive to go to the places that you've been? Look, I don't think I was, I certainly wasn't that entrepreneur, but I was that adventurer. Mm. So I knew that there was more than my little square in Baronia in Victoria. I knew that there was, and I wanted more, and I wanted to see more. So you got back from overseas. Yes. Was Boost a thought in your head then? No, not really. Um, I, um, I, by that stage I'd come back and I'd had a child, so I'd come back with a, a, sing, a, as a single mum with a two-year-old. It was pretty much nothing. That would have been crazy hard in itself. Look, it is and it isn't. Like in life, you just you can actually turn around and go, "Oh, my life's hard," or you can just go, "Okay, when we get on with it, move right? On. Yeah, yeah, move on, right?" So it depends on how you think. Mm. And so I never sort of went, um, "Oh my God, poor me." Now I went, "Okay, well, I have the sole responsibility of this child, and I need to start to grow up and start to, you know, start a forging a career." It was then that she met the love of her life, Jeff, who she describes as being the most influential person in her life. Together, they started Boost Juice in 2000, which is now a global empire making two million smoothies and juices per month. But it hasn't all been smooth sailing. And so were there moments along the way that you thought, you know, this is too hard, I want to give up? Or did you just know, I've just got to see it out? Uh, play the long game and just be patient? Sure, there's days that you don't want to be a businesswoman, there's days you don't want to be a mum, days you don't want to be a wife. Mm. You know, there's there's days that you, you're human there's, and it's okay. It's okay to wake up and go, oh, you know, really, it's all too hard. It's all too hard. Mm. Would you change anything? No. Mm. But, you know, you, you do have days. It's also sometimes you wake up and every single phone call is a call of disaster and other days they're, you know, mm. the call that changes your life. So it sounds like you just have the ability to just ride the waves and expect the unexpected. And The reality with challenges is that if you think about the worst thing that happened to you in your life, right? Mm. And even that worst thing in your life, you go, oh my God, thank goodness for that worst thing because if it wasn't for that worst thing, I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Or I wouldn't have taken that path. That is so true. But at the time, you actually are stressed to the mass and mm. you think that your life is, you know, it's all over, yes. right? And whether it's a relationship or whether it's a business deal or a job or something, mm. But it's only hindsight. So when it, with business, when things have gone wrong, which happens all the time, they're actually great learning. So I do find that you have to make mistakes and you have to have hardship to actually know what positive is. That is so true. Is there anything you're scared of? I'm not really scared of anything. Um, you know, I think that the fears are sort of manifested. They don't, you know, stress, funnily enough, stress isn't real. Mm. Stress isn't even something that exists in life other than we, what we manifest in ourselves. Mm -hmm. So yes, stress we feel, stress is something that actually has a terrible health benefits to us, but we manifest it, we create it. That's so true. And so it's a really interesting one of how to, once you start recognising it, trying to do things to uncreate it. Mm. And how would you describe your happy place? Look, my happy place is normally sand between my toes. You know, I find um, nature, the beach, I find that is my happy place. You know, I have my happy place is sitting around the table playing cards with my kids. You know, my happy place is the people eating food that actually worked out in the oven for a change and they eat my dinner. <laughs> for someone who left school in year 11 and has no business qualifications, she's a living example that anything is possible with enough grit and determination. In her own words, work hard, take accountability for everything you do and surround yourself with great people.